Hi guys, welcome back to Tester Tuesdays where I do in-depth reviews of products so you guys know whether or not you would like to try it out the next time you are shopping. And today is going to be a first impression on the Honest Beauty. Everything came in this cute little tote and they packaged it up really nicely in this box which is a collection of makeup products that I picked up for myself. I also picked up a trial set of the skincare which I will be trying out while I'm in New York so I'm going to pack this with me. Uh, watch my vlog channel if you want like up to the minute kind of a situation otherwise I will probably talk about it in one of my Friday favorites or one of my Sundays with Serene videos. So let's get into this goodie box. I'm just freshly out of the shower. I'm going to go in with this everything tinted moisturizer. I'm just going to use my fingers I think because it's a tinted moisturizer like why not oh very thick I might have put too much on I might have to do my whole face guys and my hair is all over I have this side covered with the tinted moisturizer and it's not that much coverage. It's not going to really change your complexion too much. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of it on, but let me zoom you in real close so you can see. So you can see, you can still see my freckles, you can still see my pores. Okay, so I have both sides of my face applied and I think it just gives you a little bit of a tint. This reminds me a little bit of the Glossier Skin Tint, however the Glossier Skin Tint does not have SPF at all and it does give kind of the same finish, that very natural, fresh faced, cleansed look. So I have my brows done and I am going to go into the blush now and I bought Truly Exciting. This is a very natural blush color that I picked out, especially if you have dry skin or if you are of more mature skin I like that I'm gonna put a little on my eyelids you can see how that wash of color is very very subtle and it really does look like I'm flushing from within which I like and I added a little on my eyelids which looks really good and this blush even though it's cream it's settling very nicely it's not slipping and sliding whatsoever and it doesn't feel super sticky or creamy at all so I'm really liking this texture the next product I have is the luminizing powder in dawn reflection which is the lighter shade I think there are two shades in the collection one's a more bronzy shade so this is a really pretty luminizer I'm gonna use this on top of my cheekbones and probably on the center of my lids my brow bone just kind of like an all-over brightener can you see that highlight right there I think it's a really nice subtle highlight it's not as shimmery as I thought it was gonna be which is really pretty. moving into the next product which is the mascara so this is a primer and a mascara and she did say to make sure the primer is set before applying anything else the primer side isn't very wet whatsoever it's actually kind of a dry powdery texture I want to say but it's not powder either it's definitely a liquid but it's not the traditional kind of goopy primers I typically do not like so I so far it looks kind of cool this is a rubberized mascara wand, which I typically don't prefer, but this was highly recommended, so I'm going to give it a try. Okay, I'm not super crazy about this mascara because the wand is kind of hard to use if you have flatter eyes like I do. It's just going to kind of get all over your lid, so I'm going to have to go in and clean it up now. I don't really like this mascara. I feel like it's made my lashes heavier, so it's making my lashes fall. Typically, my lashes can curl better than this. Okay, so the last product I have makeup-wise is the Truly Kissful Lip Crayon in Mulberry Kiss, and this is one of those like lip crayon situations. I really like this Truly Kissable Lip Crayon. It's super, super pigmented. It's very comfortable to wear. It has a nice little fruity scent, but not overpowering, and I really like it. This is my favorite thing so far. It is almost four o'clock. I'm at my mom's backyard, and I thought I would do a check-in on my face. I have to say, I'm quite impressed with everything so far, except for the mascara. I'm not crazy about it. It doesn't look awful. The 
Tinted moisturizer is wearing very nicely. I haven't touched up or anything. I don't look super shiny, but I just look naturally like cleansed and glowy and healthy and fresh. I love the blush. You can see that in the sunlight. It looks really, really beautiful. And also the highlight is gorgeous. The little lipstick is pretty much worn off because I did eat a cheeseburger and fries just now, but the tint is still there. So even though the majority of my lip product is gone, I feel like it's still there quite a bit which is really impressive because I don't think it's supposed to be like a super long lasting lip color. My favorite thing so far is gotta be the lipstick, the blush, and the highlight. Hi guys, welcome back. It is now 11.30 p.m. I feel like this pro these products are actually really good and quite longer lasting than I expected because it is 11.30. I had applied this around 11 a.m. this morning, so it's been like a full 12 hours. And I did just reapply my lipstick because clearly my lipstick has worn off with eating. The first thing I had applied was the Everything Tinted Moisturizer in the Oil Free Formulation. Now this did keep me matte for most of the day. I haven't used any blotting sheets or any powder other than what I've used for setting everything. And I do look shiny right now, but it has been 12 hours. It has been really hot. I was at Downtown Disney. I was outside. You know, it's it's not bad considering and it is a tinted moisturizer so it has SPF 20 it's a physical SPF which I really always recommend to use for full sun protection as long as you're okay with using physical SPF and if you want to know more about that there's plenty of material online plus I did do a blog post focusing on why I prefer mineral versus chemical SPF 20 is good it's not great I prefer SPF 30 for day to day if you live in a cooler climate and less sunny climate SPF SPF 20 is fine. However, sunblock does not last all day, so you would need to reapply it if you're depending on this as your sole source of sun protection and you're going outside. That being said, I think this is a very long lasting tinted moisturizer in terms of coverage and keeping you matte. It's not a fully matte finish, it's a semi matte, especially if you are combination oily or if you are combination oily and dry. It's not clinging to my dry patches, but it has helped my oilier areas. And I am impressed because I haven't been doing very well with oil products. I found that a lot of the oil-free products that I have been using have made me more oily. I'm not quite sure why. I do really enjoy this. So I do recommend the oil-free tinted moisturizer for those of you who are looking for just a all-in-one everyday product. I think this is a good product and I'm going to continue to use this so stay tuned for updates. One of my favorite products that I used was the cream blush and this was in the shade Truly Exciting. I'm definitely going to want to try some other shades. I I felt that this blush is definitely very long wearing. You can still see that it's on my skin. I love how even though it was a cream, it was a harder cream. So you were able to build up the color, but it wasn't super, super slippy and slidey and creamy. It just kind of sat very well and settled nicely into the skin. The next product I was using was the Dawn Reflection Luminizing Powder. This powder is really beautiful. I think it's a really great highlight and all over color. It's supposed to even out your skin tone as well. And I think it does that by doing a nice kind of reflecting quality. It's it's not super shimmery, but it looks beautiful outside. Now, the next product I was using was the mascara. This is the least favorite of all my products. It's not a horrible product, and it's not a bad product. I just don't really like the primer, because I feel like even though when I was first applying it, I thought that the primer was, was really nice. It wasn't leaving a crusty feeling or anything like that. But when I layered on the mascara, I just felt like it made my lashes stick together. It wasn't that it made it clumpy, it just made it stick together and it made me look like I had less lashes. Although it did make my lashes look longer, it just made me lose a little bit of the volume, which I did not enjoy, and I felt like it weighed my lashes down from its curl. So those are my little things about this mascara that I did not like. I am going to play with it a little bit more and play with the mascara on its own without the primer, because I think I might enjoy it better without the primer. The wand is interesting. It does get into your eyes so that you can really um, get the lash, the mascara into your lash base. However, it got all over my eyes, and you know, with mascaras, I do tend to hit my la my lids and my inner corners a little bit here and there because my eyes are a little bit flatter. But this was the worst it's ever been. So 
keep some q-tips around handy if you have the same kind of eye shape as me because I'm not sure maybe I'll get better with use but I definitely have to keep trying this out lastly this is again one of my really favorite products I did not think it, I would like this so much because it's just another lip crayon however I found that the formulation was really nice it's very comfortable to wear it does stay put it does leave your lips with a nice beautiful flush and stain it's easy to use because you can kind of do this as your lip liner and color in one it's very pigmented it's hydrating it's balmy but it also has like a semi matte finish so it does set on your lips and it doesn't feel like it's slipping and sliding everywhere I love the it's like a little bit of a berry scent. It's all natural, so there's no fragrances added. So whatever scent there is, it's a very nice, pleasant scent that dissipates as it's on your lips. And I just think it's a really great lip product. I'm very impressed with this truly kissable lip crayon. I'm very, very impressed with this, and I think I will be picking up some other shades. This is probably one of my favorite products I tried. Do I recommend Honest Beauty? I do recommend Honest Beauty. I have some skincare I need to try out still, but for the makeup, I think there's some really great products, especially if you're looking for cleaner products to put on your face that are 100% cruelty free. I think it's a great brand out there, something that you can trust. I love that they use good for you products. I love that it's paraben free. I love that it's cruelty free, and I do really enjoy the fact that it's sleek and it's clean. It's got great packaging. Let me know if you'd like a skincare video. I bought a bunch of samples like basically their dry skin kit and it comes with some full size and a bunch of little samples so I'm gonna be trying that out while I'm in New York as I said I'm currently when you're watching this I'm in New York because I decided I was gonna push two of my other videos do my best to respond to comments as I go check me out on snapchat Instagram and don't forget to watch my vlog channel because I will be vlogging my whole entire trip I hope you guys enjoy this video I, I listen to you so a couple of you guys really wanted me to review the honest beauty brand I try to get a good variety of products from the line I will get more because I am now subscribed to them and I bought everything with my own money um, so if you have any questions I will link the products in the description box as well let me know what products you might want to see me try from the from the brand or from another brand because like I said I do read all of your comments and I do take them into consideration I am here to help you and my channel is all about inspiring and motivating you and helping you make the right decisions for your lifestyle hopefully motivating you to put a little effort and make yourself feel as beautiful and confident as you can from the outside in hope that this has helped you and if you're new to my channel welcome I'm really happy you came around and took a chance on my video so please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down to let me know what you think and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video so don't worry even though I'm traveling and then moving house I will have my videos up as normal because I've been like a crazy person and filming like three videos a day so excuse me if I look a little frazzled or seem a little frazzled it's because I am. So I'll see you next time. Bye!